What is up everybody and welcome back to Space Engineer Survival on the lovely planet of Pertam. This is episode number two and last episode we did some pretty good stuff. We got a like a, a starter base set up with a basic refinery and a basic assembler. We have some basic power that probably needs to be updated and we also have some sort of rover that can detect uh, where ores are which is going to be very helpful. In this episode I want to expand our power because it does not quite uh, cover everything we need. Um, so I probably want to get maybe three or five of those little uh, windmills over there. So we're going to get a couple more of those. I also want to see if we can get the actual assembler and the actual refinery set up, as well as maybe a battery, which we were trying to do last episode. And then finally, I would like to get this rover looking a little bit nicer. Uh, maybe we can shave off some of these unnecessary parts, uh, add some more storage so we can carry some more ores, and, uh, and get this thing actually looking like an ore carrying machine. But before we start, I was looking at my analytics and I noticed that while some of you are subscribed and some of you are unsubscribed, many of you are in a superposition of being both subscribed and unsubscribed at the same time uh so if you could please cut that out and choose a side it would be very helpful for my sanity you know who you are <laughs> anyways like i said we're gonna start this thing out with uh expanding power because i don't think this stuff is working right now is it let's actually check that wait no it is okay that's weird um because at the end of last episode this was not generating enough power for this thing to actually work so it seems like it is actually working though um i still want to expand our power so let's start with that let's see do we have what do we have in our inventory um, we have six steel plates. I want to get a couple more of those. So let's get some of those going. This is actually making the power cells. Yo, hang on. Hang on. Can we, uh, can we get them? Do we have 80? Wait, where is it? Assembler here. Wait, where are they going? If it's... It's totally making them, but... I'm so confused. Where... They're not going directly into this. That's impossible. Yeah. Where are they? Because they're not in here. Okay, I think it's glitched. I think it's glitched for some reason. Let's uh, try to make a couple more real quick. See if those get put in the inventory. I am a little confused here. Inventory? Yeah, I'm a little confused. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where they're going. Because there's... I mean, it's 100%, but it's not going anywhere. Can we... Okay, make a steel plate. Just, just a simple... Yeah, it's not... What's going on? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this. And, uh, and we'll rebuild it. And say, oh gosh. Okay, luckily we can carry all that. We're going to delete it and rebuild it because it seems like it's uh, it's being funky right now. Is that the right? Yeah, okay. That's the correct position. I really don't know what that was. Unless I've just forgotten a core mechanic of Space Engineers, which is entirely possible. Okay, they are actually going here now. I don't know. Okay, I think it was glitched before, but I think we're fine now. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make some steel plates. So let's go ahead and make 200 of those. We have a lot of... Uh, of, of iron at this point so we can definitely make quite a few steel plates but let's let's uh let's grab a couple of these and see if we can see how many more we need here it looks like for this thing we will need another uh 58 so i'm just gonna let those be how many steel plates do we have now zero <laughs> wait what happened to all we just put them in there didn't we okay i'm forgetting what i'm doing apparently okay that should be enough steel plates what i wanted to do is i just wanted to build up the base for these actually let's uh let's get some interior plates as well because I know that uh, I know that we need those for this. Do we have any? No, we do not. Unfortunately, I'll grab all those steel plates though, because we we're gonna need them. Do we have any here in here, perhaps? No. Okay, I guess we'll make them in our uh, basic assembler here. Production, just make me like a hundred interior plates, and that should be good. Uh, I'll take five for now. Because all I'm gonna do is uh, put the base down, and then we'll come back and grab the materials that we need. Okay, so uh, how far is it again? Is it like eight? I thought it was eight. Uh, the distance you have to uh, to put these apart from each other. I thought it was eight, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's go down here. Three, four, five. It's either five or eight. Six, seven, eight, and then we'll do one more for for good measure, of course. Let's use our jetpack. How far did we go up? Two more, maybe. One, two, and then we can place it. Uh, number nine. Awesome, there's one, and we'll go out the other one. So let me just uh, recount here to make sure we made eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one for good measure. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one for good measure. And let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, I believe. Uh, six. <laughs> Wait, hang on, did I, did I do that wrong? Okay, I'm, I'm bad at judging from this angle, apparently. Let's place this on top, and we're running out of hydrogen, so let's get back to the ground. Alright, now uh, we know we're going to need a lot of computers for those, I think. 
Um, no, only two computers. A lot of girders is what it was. A lot of girders, some motors, interior plates, and construction components. And that should be good. Okay, so when those things are ready, we will be able to make that. Um, how are we doing on those power cells? We got 18 more. Okay, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. <laughs> uh, Alright, while we're waiting for those to construct, let's go ahead and do some work on this rover. Uh, I want to make it a little slimmer. Well, actually, I'm fine with the width, but I want to, like, remove this top part. Um, so I think for now what we'll do is we'll remove this uh, gyroscope. Uh, and we will remove all these steel plates. I just have to be careful not to remove the battery because that would be bad. Actually, it would not be as bad as it would have been uh, at the start. At the start, if you remove the battery, you are SOL. Like, you cannot do anything else because you have no power. You cannot make anything because you have no power. It's, it's like, impossible. Well, I guess you could grind down everything and maybe make a wind turbine. That would be your only saving grace. But uh, it would be very difficult. Um, but now that we have this base set up, even if we remove this power, it, it won't be that bad. Because we can always make another one with the stuff we have on our base. Uh, okay, let's continue removing these. And we'll probably add our own blocks in. In the shape that we want it. That is fine. These are always a pain in the butt. Oh, that was actually very friendly to, to, to uh, grind down. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt. Okay, we're just going to continue grinding here. Whoops, what did I almost remove? The O282 generator? Don't really want to remove that. I think we'll keep that for good because we'll we'll uh, we'll need to be able to recharge. Having a rover that lets you recharge is always a good thing. Of course, we're also going to want to have some uh, some cargo containers on this thing, but uh, that's fine. I'm almost out of stuff, so let me go get more juice. Actually, while we're here, let's uh, let's go check on this stuff. I think it's probably done with everything that we asked it to do. Uh, power cells it's done with. Let's go and uh, fill this up. We need to get a couple more because our inventory is half full. So we'll probably need one more trip here. How many more do we need exactly? T only 10? Okay, I'm only going to grab 10 then. Uh, wait. Control? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's 10. Now we have a working battery, which is going to be good. It's going to allow these to work. Um, well, at least until this is depleted. But also, when they're not working, it'll allow this to go into... The battery. I'm sure you guys know what a battery does. Uh, all right, let's grab these things. Uh, is that enough? That's probably enough. And let's go and uh, finish up these guys. Then we'll have even more power coming in. Hopefully these will stay with good uh, wind clearance. Let's see though. Ah, I forgot the motors. Okay, it looks like we need uh, probably 12 motors for these three. Let's go and grab those. I think we have some just sitting in here. Let's go and check it. Check it. Uh, yeah, we only need 12. We'll grab 20. Refill our stuff. Hydrogen depletes so fast. I mean, I know we can grab the bottle. We have a bottle in there. We, You know what? I might want to save that, actually, for a rainy day. Because I don't necessarily need it right now. So it'll be fine. But Okay, there we go. We now have... Can I, can I interest you in some more interior plates? Yes, I can. Okay, we now have three of these things going. I want to check their efficiency in the... Uh, in this because it will tell me let's go and see wind turbine 2 it looks like it's got good wind clearance good wind clearance and good wind clearance okay nice uh, okay let's let's uh continue with the rover and we're going to get this looking nice and having some storage and then we'll be able to go out and get more ores if we want to all right here's what our ship looks like completely gutted it's got the ore detector it's got the battery um but this is what it is without everything else uh, we have put in the uh, the front thing right here. We put it on the side so we have a little bit of room for storage. Um, we're also going to put in the survival kit. I'm going to keep that on board this thing. Um, but I have removed it because we're moving it just a tiny bit. Um, it's going to go right here. I, I, I guess I could put it there if I wanted to. But we're going to put it right there. That's going to allow us the... I believe that side. Here, let's, let's fill it up real quick so we can see it. Yeah, okay. So we can see the, uh, the this thing on this side, which is going to be easy to get to. I'm hearing some sounds, so I... Is that a storm br brewing in? It might be. Um, we're going to remove this battery, and we're going to replace it somewhere different, maybe on the back right here. Uh, and we're going to put our O2H2 generator right there, so we can have at least some form of, of getting uh, um, hydrogen and stuff while we're out and about. Uh, the battery we're going to remove, but before we remove it, I would like to add a connector here, and we're going to connect to the base. Um, and that's going to allow us to remove all of our uh, power before we remove that thing. So connector, 
I think it's in the progression tree, and we have not gotten it yet. We need a small conveyor. Okay. The progression is a bit weird. <laughs> um, all, I re all I require to do is build just one small conveyor anywhere. Of course, we don't have the stuff for it. Okay, is it middle mouse? Oh, we, of course, we can't do it for the small stuff, can we? Oh, maybe we can. Okay, we can. Never mind. So we just have to build this once. And then we get the progression. So then we can just remove it. Just like that. Uh, okay, so let's build the connector now. That is how the progression system works. It would be a little more interesting, especially if there were special parts. Like, there's this kind of connector, but maybe there's a special kind of connector as well that you can unlock somehow. I don't know. Uh, okay, we need to get all the stuff for... We need two connectors, actually. So let's go here. Can we uh, do one of those? Okay, could not withdraw some of the stuff, of course, but... We'll put this right here. Is it becoming nighttime? It might actually be becoming nighttime as well as the storm comes in, because I see the sun over there. I think it rose over there, so it, it should be becoming nighttime a little bit. So it's probably maybe about time to get some lights on our base as well. That would be uh, that would be very helpful. Okay, and just a couple more. Oh, ran out of stuff? Must have run out of iron. Yeah, we ran out of iron. Okay, we're going to have to go on another iron run pretty soon then. All right. Oh, that's... Is that... No, it is... Okay, it is at the right level. It's just not at the right angle here. Let's back this up and hit connect. All right, we are now connected. Uh, K, if we go to our battery, we're going to set to the mode of discharge. So it's going to start discharging all of its power into our good old friend, this battery. So we should see this having a, uh, a pretty high input here. Yeah. Okay, that's just so that when we remove this thing, we don't lose any power. Otherwise, we would, which would be annoying. So, got to preserve all that power. All right, we're gonna let this thing discharge. Uh, while we're do while that's discharging and doing its own thing over there, um, I think let's find an area for our basic assembler um, because we do want that next. I think let's get a couple of steel plates here. Let's get our normal block. Not basic assembler, actual assembler is what I meant to say. We want our actual assembler and actual refinery. We'll build them over in this location maybe. Um, the actual refinery is pretty huge. I think it's a 4x2, but it might be larger. It might be a 5x2. Don't know for sure. We'll, we'll plan for it. Okay, G, uh, refinery. We'll start with the refinery since it connects uh, easily to the normal assembler. Uh, it is, it's a it's a 4, okay. We'll place it back there anyway. Uh, and then we need the normal assembler. I'll place that one directly in front so that they're connected like that. Okay, um, now this is going to require a lot of stuff. This is not an easy project. Uh, the refinery requires on its own just like 1,200 steel plates. Uh, and then this is not an easy task either with the 120 steel plates. So it's it's kind of a stretch goal, but hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have these set up. Fully depleted in five days. Is it current output? Is Okay, maybe I need to set this one on recharge. Let's see. Batteries are a little weird in this. They have some some funky uh, funky mechanics. But let's let's check it out here. Battery, how are you doing? Uh, fully depleted in 12 minutes. Okay, that I can deal with. Five days is a little a little long though. Um, okay, let's just hang out here then. Let this thing recharge. You know what? I <laughs> I should also get these wheels working. We've been working with only one or only two wheels this entire time. That would probably be a good thing to do. Now, okay, now we have all wheels working. Full four, full wheel drive. That would actually make it a little easier to turn as well, because we can turn with only the front wheels. All right, this battery is completely empty, as, as shown by the red thing. So we can go ahead and remove it. Okay, now we have a spot for our uh, O2H2 generator. Let's put that in. O2, there it is. One of the blocks that looks very different on small grid versus large grid. But you see how it has the two connectors? We can connect those with those two connectors right there. If we get it angled correctly, there we go. Uh, and that will allow us to save a little bit of space. Okay, awesome. Um, now I want to disconnect this because we don't need it connected anymore. Let's uh, turn our battery on standard and let's go ahead and disconnect. What am I, what's, what's happening? Oh, we're going, that's what. We have no lights on anymore, so I can't see anything. Um, okay, that's fine. 
We're going to remove this because we don't need it. We might eventually re-add it. We also might... Well, okay, hang on. Let me think about this. Okay, hear me out. Let's move this back one and then use a small connector to connect to this. It will still save a little bit of space, maybe. But what it also allows us to do is put a connector here if we want and then connect our containers to this thing, which will allow a pass-through connector to the uh, to the base if we want to do that. So let's go ahead and remove this and we'll re-add it uh, right here. Same configuration, just one block apart. And then we will add a small uh, conveyor. Let me let me actually set up my stuff here. On number two, I want conveyor and I want small conveyor right after that. And that will save me a little bit of time. Okay, so we'll have just a single block going that way. Okay, so those are for all intents and purposes connected and I can access via that. Let's add the ice. Let's add these things. And let's go and refill our stuff. All right. Those are all connected. Now, so so what I was saying is if we want to connect the containers that we'll eventually put here um, to a connector at the end, we can just connect via this thing right here. And that will, you know, that'll make life easy. Um, so we wanted some, what else do we want on this? Do we want a gyro? I, I guess we'll start without a gyro. If we want to add one eventually, this is some good space to add. For now, what we'll do is we'll add the containers. So let's, uh, let's go over here. Well, we'll do on the same one. Okay, container. Uh, we will put where the battery currently is. We'll have a small. We'll have a we'll have a small and a large. I don't know that we're going to use mediums. Medium is something that can fit pretty nicely on these ships. It's a three by three. Oh, maybe we will use mediums. Hang on. How much? How big is the large? Uh, five. Oh, yeah. The large is way bigger than we want. So we are going to be using mediums. Um, so something like that, maybe. I don't know. We, we can't really fit one right there. Maybe we'll have just a bunch of smalls on the side. Um, we're going to want it probably like this, actually. Oops, I can't get... Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're probably going to want it like this. Yeah, something like that. The small containers really don't carry that much, though. That's that's my problem with it. All right, I think I finally have it how I want it. We have uh, two medium cargo containers. Uh, we have one in the back right here. One in the front right there. That one's probably going to be covered up a little bit. Um, but this one in the back. And, and actually the one in the front connects this way. So it'll connect to that which is connected through that. The one in the back over here will connect right there. So if we do want to add a, car, a um, connector on the back. Then uh, they'll both be connectable. Yeah we went a little too hard on the, uh, on the assembling of uh, steel plates there. So we have to disassemble some to, uh, to make some more other, other things that we'll need. All right, that should be everything. Let's go to our ship, which is definitely going to need lights. If you didn't, if you couldn't tell, I just, I, it was very hard to find it, unless I like kind of remember where it is. And I think our base needs lights too. Good lord, you can't see anything. Uh, okay, so this is now a fully functioning ship, with uh, with some cargo. It's got an ore detector. It can drive. It's got no lights. That's the problem. But uh, lights only require construction components, and I think we actually have a bunch of those. We'll check, and if we do, we have, we can we can install some lights. Yep, we can install a lot of lights. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Kind of like it. Okay, not really a fan of the blinking, to be honest. Let's uh, let's turn that off. Rover interior lights. You guys are going to be turned off from blinking. There we go. Just, just stay static. It'll be fine. All right, there we go. We have a pretty nice lit up uh, truck, I think. Of course, these spotlights look a little weird, kind of spotting backwards, but it's fine. Um, we have the front lights, which are shining brightly into the night. Uh, we have our side lights, which are not blinking anymore and causing me to have a seizure of some kind. Um, and we have the back lights. I think it's pretty. It's looking pretty good. This thing can carry. I don't know how much this can carry, actually. Let's check. Um, Cargo containers can carry 33,000 liters, which is way more, by the way, than the small cargo container. Um, so that's nice to nice to have. Uh, in fact, we could even go on a mining expedition. Should we go on a night mining expedition? Probably not, but um, but we could if we wanted to. We can we could definitely see. Since we're using no GPS markers, though, it'd be very hard to find it unless we're just using memory. Uh, and then it'd be, it'd be very hard to find our base uh, on the way back. So. Uh, let me real quick turn this battery to standard mode instead of recharge <clears throat> recharge mode. 
Uh, and I'd like to add a couple lights on there. Uh, how much are interior lights on the base? There are only two construction components still, and we have 27. So let's real quick go and add some lights to the base so that we can uh, we can see. Oh, I'm flying and I can't see anything. There we go. Turn our lights on. Okay, we're going to add one up here. We will eventually remove all this and uh, and make it look a little nicer because currently it looks, it, I mean, it's just like pretty ugly. But, uh, but yeah, okay. Light right there. Light right here. And final light right here. Okay. Did I accidentally put a bunch of... Yeah, I put, accidentally put 25 in, into that. But it's fine. Um, okay, we have the lights, which means uh, we should be able to see our base. I'm going to increase the, um, the radius of those, though, a little bit. Okay, so we can kind of see that stuff. Even with our light off, we can see kind of what we're doing a little bit. On YouTube, it might be very hard to see, but... Uh, but yeah, okay, so um, should we try a night expedition? We, c You know what? Let's try it. Let's give it a go. So um, I think we may have learned our lesson on night expeditions. Now, if I recall correctly, the iron is somewhere... Oh, did we just go off a cliff? I believe we did. No, 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 no! This is going to be really hard to flip. We don't have a gyro on this thing. We can't even see our base. If we fly up, can we? No, we can't even see our base even with those lights. So, uh, okay. This is unfortunate. I guess if we dig a little bit right here, it'll force it to fall back into a somewhat upright position, which could work in our favor. Of course, we would then have to have some sort of gyro on it, but... And the gyro would allow us to flip it. I mean, if we put two gyros on it, we could solve this problem pretty easily. I think we might have to wait until daytime, because I don't know how we would find base. Unless we wander off in this direction. Because this is kind of where we came from. We'll be able to see our ship, for sure, right? Okay, how can I still see that, but I cannot see the base? Surely we didn't go that far. Oh wait, I see it! I was going the wrong way! The base is just up there. Alright, we're back to the ship. That's a start. Now we just need to fly up to the base, which is just up here. Because we can see it because of the lights. Okay, hello base. We are back temporarily. We've come for some items. Specifically ones to make gyroscopes. Uh, I want to make probably three gyroscopes. I think we're good. Let's fly back to our ship now. Hello ship, I hope you didn't miss me too much. Um, we're back for uh, to make you some gyroscopes. Some emergencies, emergency gyroscopes. We'll put those right here, I guess. Okay, here's one. Here is two coming up. And here is three. We can't make the third one. Did I miscalculate? I miscalculated. Okay, two should be fine. It should be good. Okay. We just need to do something like this. Okay, wait for it, and PUSH! Hey, there we go. Gyroscopes are the best. Okay, we're definitely up somewhere. I don't see our base, but we're up in the location where it might be. Let's go over this hill, maybe we'll see it. Oh. I think we might be higher than our base is, or something. We're just gonna get completely lost. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see if we can go down this way. Ooh, that's a nice view. Okay, is this way drivable? It's a bit steep, but uh, but we have brakes for a reason. Oh, it's so steep. We're just going down a, a sheer cliff face. Okay, I think our base is probably this way a little bit. kind of turn into this and we'll go up here oh we're catching some speed a little bit all right let's just gun it up this hill and if I'm correct our base should be right over this hill ah yes it is okay cool <laughs> for a second I was like where, where where are we okay um let's not go back to our base then let's actually complete the mission and go get some iron 
Because now that it's daytime, we should be able to see where it is. So if I recall correctly, I mean, this is an ore drop over here of some kind. Silicon, maybe? Nickel? Uh, silicon. Okay, so we have silicon over there. Uh, and then the iron was if we went this way and then turned right. Which I thought was where we're going in the night, but it just so happens to, I guess, not have been where we're going. So the iron should be over this. Let's go slow. This is a cliff. Don't want to tempt fate here. Now we did leave a, uh, a pillar out in these dunes somewhere where our iron would be. Ah, there it is. Okay. I see the pillar over there. So there's our iron, and we're going to be able to return home <clears throat> with a nice with a nice full load of iron. That's what really feels good in this game. When, when you're early game, you're just kind of ending the early game stage, so you're getting all this iron, and you know that you'll never have to go hunting for rocks again. That's, that's a nice feeling. Ooh, that's dangerous. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. The silicon should be just over this little hill right here. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> just just jamming around. Okay, silicon's right here. Skirt! Let's get a little bit of that. Uh, ooh, okay, we're good. I was thinking about maybe turning in uh, so that we go to the um, other side, but I think this is fine. Okay, let's back up just a little bit so we're kind of close there because we need to uh, manually offload these materials. Let's start with the iron, because that's the thing we need the most. Throw it in here, and it should automatically get ported over to the uh, other thing. Let's get a little bit of silicon in there. Now, since our inventory is truncated, like, by half, um, while the vehicle inventory stays the same, it would actually benefit us by making a connector system, so that we can connect this to the base and just have everything automatically pulled out. But for now, I think I think we're fine pulling everything, since we don't have that big operations going on. Once we have like a bigger operation and it becomes uh, less efficient to just pull everything out manually, we'll we'll set up something like that. All right, there we go. Uh, our refinery should be at full capacity now. Just just um, just refining away. It's gonna be for a while as well. We have a lot of stuff in there, but hopefully we don't require any more um, iron for a little bit. And when we do, it's only a little rover ride away. All right, let's uh, let's set to work on uh, on getting these things set up. Um, we'll do the assembler first. Like, well, we'll do. Let's let's get the, all those steel plates made. How about that? Production. Make me a thousand plus three hundred. A thousand plus five hundred. How about? Because that's really how many we need. Honestly, we need one thousand two hundred there. Oh, hang on. Let me put my suit back on. Looks like there might be a storm coming. I can actually check if I hop in this, because we have that little storm storm radar. Uh, first person. Yep, there's a sandstorm coming. There'll be a storm coming. Actually, I do want to check as well. Let me see the uh, wind turbines. All right, remember this number. 410, 412. It is going up, so I think the wind uh, storms, or the sandstorms do increase that. 420. Let's see if that's increased as the sandstorm is blowing. That's at level 3. That's pretty good. Um, but if, if that is the case where those go faster, then I'll be praying for sandstorms because that is very nice. Of course, that said, they're also very loud. 20 large steel tubes. Let's set up uh, 20... Let's set up 30 metal grids. Um, 30. I don't know if we'll be able to make those metal grids, actually, will we? Metal grids require cobalt, nickel, and iron. Do we have cobalt, though? I don't know that we do. We'll probably have to go and find some manually. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go find some manually. Should we do that right now, actually? We know where it is. It's kind of over... Well, we don't know exactly where it is, but... It's kind of over in that direction. 509. Wow. Yeah, so it is optimal here. Let's, uh, let's go and see if we can get a little bit of cobalt. I don't remember exactly where it is, but it's over in this direction somewhere. I don't have that much experience with this direction, so it's going to be a little a little hairy. Oh, I think I see it actually. It's right over here. I see a little marker just off in the distance. Actually, what's right here? 
Okay, this is another... This is actually a much closer iron. That's that's actually very nice. I'll just have to remember that that's there. Uh, but over here, we have our cobalt. Which we marked out in episode, uh, in episode one. No, we have nickel! Wait, cobalt though? Is there cobalt? I could have sworn we marked this for cobalt, but I could be wrong. Where did we mark cobalt then? There must be another one that we uh, that we marked earlier. Am I wrong? Did I did I not mark cobalt at some point? I'm not seeing it. And I don't think we were that far. From oh, oh, careful! Oh man, that was that was dangerous. We we do have those gyros though to save us in case. Um, in case we do flip over. So we uh, we return unsuccessful for the uh, for the cobalt, unfortunately. But we know where nickel is now. Let's park it at our base real quick, and I want to go and check uh, what the efficiency of those things is. Yeah, 577. Dang, we're getting a lot of power from this. 18 minutes, that's fully recharged. Wow. All right, at this point... All we need are the metal grids, and then we can finish up this uh, refinery. And all we need are, well, a bunch of things, <laughs> and then we can finish up this. We need a lot of computers, specifically, for this one, don't we? Uh, I want to make 200 computers, and I want to make maybe 20 displays. I think that's kind of the kind of thing we need. Let's, uh, let's start on the displays first, actually. Those are probably the easiest to make. They don't require much. We are probably going to have to go on another iron run. Not in this episode, but maybe next episode. Uh, just because we're done refining and we only have 3k, which uh, it's not, I mean, it'll last us a little bit, but it's not going to last us that long if we're, if we're building like this. Uh, so, so we are going to have to go on another run at some point. So this thing only needs the rest of the computers that are being made in there as well as metal grids. So we really need that cobalt right about now. Uh, the storm has subsided, so I think we'll go on one more expedition before we end the episode. Uh, hopefully we can find Cobalt and finish up those things, because the episode is getting a little bit long. Uh, believe it or not, I've been recording for two hours, because I cut out a lot of stuff. It makes a little bit of sense, especially at night. Um, in the future, we'll have a lot more to do at night when we have lights in our base, and we have a lot of uh, a lot of ores and stuff, and maybe even if we've like lit up the path to certain areas, it'll be easier. But at the current moment, there's not much to do at night, so I've pretty much just been sitting around waiting for it to become daytime uh, when, it, when it's nighttime, so... Um, so yeah, I've been recording for a long, long time. Let's uh, let's check this out. Let's see if we've got some cobalt right here. I mean, I already know there's iron here, but I want to do a real quick check to see if there's maybe also cobalt. That would make my life easy, but no, there's not. Okay, let's go in a direction then. Let's go in this direction. Um, we're going to go and, uh, and see if there's anything over here. I haven't ventured this way. Or maybe I have. Maybe this is where I came from. I really don't know. But... Um, can we, I mean, hang on, let me real quick check. Is there anything to navigate by? Let me just real quick see. We have that. Can we, see, we can't see the planets from here. Um, we kind of see our stuff over there. Okay, we, we don't have much to navigate by, so let's just remember where we came from. And if we do that, then we should be good. And if we don't, we'll be lost. Hello, Marker, what are you? We have silicon over here. Maybe doubles? That's one thing I've noticed on this planet. There's not a lot of doubles. On, uh, on, like, the moon and Earth and Mars, there's a lot of, like, silicon, nickel, cobalt. They're all here. Uh, we have nickel as well, not cobalt. Okay, let's keep driving. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Just over this oh, just over this hill right here, we're going to see the cobalt. It's going to be so obvious that it's going to be pain, painful. It's going to be painfully obvious, as some may even say. All right, I'm not seeing it yet, but it's in disguise. That's why I don't see it. It's hiding from me. This is actually a really nice valley. I could probably gun it in this valley. Because uh, there's not a lot of hills. Okay, we have some more iron over here. But nothing else. I think I'm going to take a left here. And drive around in this valley a little bit. Oh, here's something. That's the cobalt, I bet. Right there. The tree is standing there to mark it. Hello, random ore. Are you cobalt? You are nickel. Okay. It's not, oh, it's cobalt as well. It's a it's a double. Oops. Let's uh, let's make sure we park. There we go. And we got a we got a good old double down here. Um, nickel cobalt. Okay. I don't know that we'll be able to make an easy uh, walkway unless we start from back here. 
So let's start from back here and go in this way. There it is, the lovely blue material that is cobalt. How is our path looking? Hey, that's not bad for walking. Okay, cool. Uh, let's grab some of this blue stuff. As much as we can carry. We'll grab uh, a couple of paths, uh, a couple of uh, inventory pools of it, I think. Okay, here's one inventory full of cobalt. Yoink, 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 yoink. And maybe even yoink. And also yoink. Okay, cool. That's all the... Oops, we just got rejected by the wall. Okay, that's all the cobalt we need. Let's uh, let's start heading back to base. I'm a little disoriented now. Um, although I guess that mountain helps me a little bit. I think that way is where our base is. Maybe it's that way toward the unknown signal? I don't know. Let's, um, let's start heading in a direction. If we get lost, once it becomes nighttime, we can see the planets. And I know when we go toward the planets, we will get to our base. But I believe this is the direction right here. If it's not, you guys are going to be yelling at me in the comments. But um, it's fine. We'll eventually find our way, or we won't. Those are the only two options. Let's, uh, let's head over this little valley. This little hill, I mean. Okay, it's not a good sign that I don't see any mountains. Ooh, there's some, some good good over here. Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of good good it is. This is nickel. Just nickel. Okay. That is probably not the direction to our base because I don't see any mountains. Ah, wait, I actually see our base. Can you see it from here? I actually see the little spires on our base on that little hill. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it on, uh, because of YouTube, but um, if you can, that's actually pretty pretty funny that we can see it all the way from here. That's a, that's a testament to the load distance, or the view distance. I don't know what mine's set to, it's whatever, de whatever default is. But that's, that's kind of cool. Okay, it's good to know that if you go in this direction, you'll pretty much always be able to see our base. Uh, no matter how lost you get, as long as you look for the mountains on the horizon. Wow, we went far. That's really far. I am totally not going to be able to find that cobalt again. <laughs> it's going to be impossible. But I imagine if I go to a location, like, probably three times, I'll have it down in memory on how to get there. So like the iron, I, th I think I could always get to the iron now if I needed to. Obviously that nickel that's right next to our base I could get to. So we don't need GPS. That's that's the whole point of this, is to see if we really, like if we need GPS or if we can survive without it. Just kind of memorizing the landscape and trying to find our way. And maybe use some markers as well. There's one of our markers. That one's for the nickel, I think, and this one's iron over here. Okay, let's throw this stuff in here. And uh, throw everything else. Well, actually, I don't think we need to throw everything else in there for now. Because I think we'll just throw it in the, n the normal refinery. Um, please refine the cobalt first. And that will allow us to make that stuff. What are you missing? Nickel? God dang it. <laughs> Alright guys, one moment. I'm just going to go grab a little bit of nickel from over here. Well, we, we might as well take this. Uh, i probably not record this. I'll be right back. Actually, real quick. I, oh god, this. Oh, that's a that's a bit of a. Oh, oh, that's not good. Hey, at least we're on our, at least we're on our side. That's all of our cobalt. Oh, that's all of our cobalt. Okay, well, that's not ideal, obviously. Um, that's uh, I guess that's why you have to um, play it safe a little bit more. Let's grab all this stuff. We're going to bring it back to base. I'm going to bring all the stuff required for a battery. And I'll bring some cobalt back as well. That was uh, that was not a good idea. Obviously. Alright, here we go. Fully functioning battery. Um, our ship should now be able to function. Unfortunately, we can't store any of this. But we can grab it Inventory and bring it back sold. to the base. Uh, manually. That's, that's, you know... I guess I should really have a... Uh, a, one gyro on at all times for situations like that, but uh, but let's bring this back to base real quick, and then we'll come back and get some uh, some nickel. That's crazy, man! I could have got the nickel that was right here, 
but I saw something over there and I wanted to go see what it was. <laughs> and because of that, we, uh, we, we ran into something unexpected. All right, well, we're running without, uh, without storage now. Actually, we might be able to, to finish up that front storage, that base. Skirt! I don't know how much of each it requires. Okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. We're just gonna get one inventory of nickel for now. I'll get more later. Uh, maybe next episode or even off camera uh, between the episodes. Um, but for now, just one will be fine. And that should be enough. That's, that's all we really need for now. Alright, ten metal grids. Uh, that coupled with all these computers that we made should give us the assembler. Okay, we have a working assembler Mark 1, like Mark Actual, instead of the basic one like this. Uh, and then the rest of these guys, well, we still have to wait for a couple of them, but they should give us the, um, this guy. We need 20. So our, our rover got a lot slimmer real quick, didn't it? <laughs> That's all it takes. One mistake and your rover, your rover loses a little bit of weight. Uh, 15 plus the 5, and that should be everything we need for the refinery. Of course, there's still some steel plate for armor, but uh, I think we're good without that stuff. Let me real quick see if it runs. I want to add some... Let's give it the cobalt. What? Okay, what did I just grab? <laughs> Let's give it the cobalt and see uh, see see how fast it runs. Actually, do, do this stuff first, please. Okay, and the cobalt. Uh, okay, it's running. That's a good sign. I think our power is going to dwindle really, really quickly, unless we have another snow or another uh, dust storm uh, momentarily. But um, for now, we have a working refinery and a working assembler. We will probably very soon delete these things. Probably next episode we'll delete these. Uh, probably move this to over there, or even add a second one. Uh, and that is honestly that's a good start for a base. Um, episode one we added this stuff. Episode two we uh, bumped up this stuff so that we have more, more, uh, more ability to refine and assemble. And we also have more ability to power. Um, our rover looks better as a net change from the start of this episode, I would say. Even though it looked better just a, a little bit ago. Uh, I think it's still looking good. Uh, okay, this is going to be the end of this episode. If you like it, please hit the like button. If you dislike it, feel free to hit that dislike button at your own leisure. Uh, put any comments and suggestions you have for future episodes of this series in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.